All right, guys, I'm literally in a parking lot shopping center about to head in and I really need to like just film this video really fast So there's like Christmas music and like a ton of people in front of my car Yeah, I don't really think anyone cares because everyone's distracted because there's literally a baby driving a little beamer That's great. No one's gonna stare at me talking to myself in my car with a big-ass camera on my windshield <laughs> Welcome back to another Girls in Business episode 5. In this episode, I'm going to talk about how my life completely changed. And I honestly didn't even know what was happening. I do want to say that this video is sponsored by Awesome. And I will talk more about them later. In the last episode, we left off with me just feeling really, really hopeless. No one was hiring me. I didn't really know what to do. If you missed that episode, I'll go ahead and link it right here above. If you're just stumbling onto this video, I have a whole playlist of Girls in Business. So go ahead and check that out to catch up because none of this is going to be beneficial or make sense to you if you don't. So basically at this stage, I feel like it's always good to be on the stage because of the fact that when you're like at rock bottom or what it feels like rock bottom, you can only go up from here. I was just very vulnerable very willing to surrender and just do whatever just like let go and have whatever that was meant for me happen i feel like at this time when we allow ourselves to be vulnerable and to truly let go and surrender i feel like that is when only the best things happen to us and let me tell you why is because we stop trying to control outcomes we stop trying to control our lives and the direction that we think we're supposed to be going in rather than letting life just kind of do it for us a lot of the times we think we know what we want and that blocks us from better so it's like I thought I wanted to you know graduate college and really just start my adult life and career when truly that wasn't really what was meant for me i'm not bashing anyone that works a nine to five or whatever like no that's totally cool like get your money the way that you want to get it but um i think for me i really wanted to have the opportunity to just live life i didn't want to be stuck in an office i really just wanted to live life and be able to have the ability to sleep in if i wanted not work if i wanted go hang out with my friends like really truly do whatever i wanted to do that day and so that was really my life goal but i felt like during this time i had a lot of blocks that were hindering me from achieving those goals and being able to live the life that I wanted to live. And I think this is very crucial for anyone who wants to change their life or change their environment. Sometimes we have to strip ourselves of those blocks, of those limitations, then go after what we truly want. We don't have any preconceived emotions about what we're about to do. So for me, a lot of that was money block and feeling unstable and having no security. And this is why I believe if you truly allow opportunities to just come to you, they will show up. Just like in the beginning when I kept asking and asking and asking for opportunities to show up, that is when I saw the YouTube video of how to start a lip gloss business. And here we are today. So I believe one night I was in my bed and I was just kind of scrolling through YouTube and there was this one lady she had popped up on my feed and I have no idea where she came from because she didn't really have like a lot of subscribers I believe she only had like a couple thousand but she had a ton of videos and it just kind of spoke to me I was starting to watch some of her videos and one video literally changed my life and that video was how to get rid of money block I watched that video and I was like wow this is amazing and so what I had did that, you know, week or whatever it was, I don't really remember how long it was, but I decided I was going to meditate and really get myself at this calm state so that I can really let all of this go. Once I got done meditating, I believe I started writing out my personal beliefs about money on one side 
and on the other side what I wanted to believe so like my old beliefs and my new beliefs then after that I wrote out every type of negative money situation or memory that I held on to really just wrote it out I forgave everyone things that had happened to me in my childhood instances what people had said to me and what people made me feel I literally wrote it out and I believe I have a video I will link it up here on the entire story behind that because I believe that was my second video that I actually uploaded to YouTube so I go fully in depth into that if you're interested so after that I meditated again and I literally cried and this is when you know like you truly let go is when you cry during a meditation because you're feeling those emotions and a lot of the times we don't allow ourselves to feel these emotions we kind of just keep them hidden carry them unintentionally every day until we actually face those and so that was the day that I faced a lot of my limitations and beliefs about money really started working on having a better relationship with money so at this point in my business I really should have considered getting an accountant although I didn't know it then this was gonna be my career and I was going to very much need accounting and bookkeeping services if you don't want to be like me stressing over trying to get my bookkeeping organized for tax season then I would definitely recommend checking out awesome and you don't want to skip now because there might be some valuable information in this that you will want to know for future reference so stick with me I'll make it super quick I promise so like I said this video is sponsored by awesome which is a market leading e-commerce bookkeeping software and accounting solution their app integrates into any e-commerce selling platform that you use which makes it super easy so if you have any questions you can go ahead and message your accountant right there just like a normal chat as well as a quick snap of your overall financial position all in one easy to use app the e-commerce area in the UK is growing like crazy so if you're looking to get set up over there then awesome can register your business and store all of your UK bookkeeping you can get access to an exclusive discount on their services through my link down in the description below let me tell you guys about January since we're in the month of January this was more towards the end of January but let me tell you a little bit of what I had done differently so in January I actually went full wholesale and I no longer sold any type of like retail like lip glosses or anything like that and I was continuing to create content that was doing really well on Instagram Instagram. That is what I just want to put out there. Now let's go back to when I released a lot of my money block. I did this meditation around a week or so before February. I ended January literally making more than what I would have made at like the salary job that I was going to get at Neiman Marcus. You know, like I was so, so in shock because I was like, what like this is there's no way February comes and my business just keeps growing and growing and growing I believe at this point we're at 12,000 followers on Instagram sales are just coming in I think what really helped was that I had picked up on a trend not even a trend but a product that was fairly new to lip gloss and not a lot of people knew how to create these colors and basically what I was really known for was my pigmented nude glosses, which I still sell today because they're just so cute. Not a lot of people knew how to actually make the lip glosses pigmented and not a lot of people had these like pretty nude colors. And so I think that is what made my business very different from all the other ones. Also, lip oils were very, very popular during this time. And my lip oils were so cute. They were kind of similar to the strawberry pink drink from Starbucks. They're so, so cute. And so that was really popping off. A lot of people love those. And so in February, I ended up doubling my sales from January. There's just no way that I don't believe that meditation exercise did not work because think about it at this point I'm 21 no 22 years old I've lived in this life where money was very scarce the moment that I let go of everything and and basically allow myself to have these new beliefs about money and a better relationship with money that's the month that I make the most money I've ever seen in my entire life a lot of people could just be like well you change up to wholesale your videos were going viral blah blah, blah whatever but there's also another part that is just not physical that really allowed me to enter this I don't want to say like world because that's like that's not the right word for it but 
enter this new reality where I was attracting money and money was attracted to me so what i wanted to go over was the formula that i used to i guess blow up my instagram one of the first things i would say is having a consistent schedule of posting you don't want to just post a video the next piece of content you post is like two weeks later you want to gain followers you are going to want to follow a profile that is always active and so during this time i believe i was posting like three times a day every day for what was it this is like my fifth month yeah for five months then what i did was i picked up on trendy videos a lot of people loved those lip gloss mixing videos and so that is what i was doing also a lot of people like videos where there's a lot of a certain product so the video of me filling up my lip oils i believe i filled up like a hundred or something like that and people literally went crazy I think I have like over a hundred thousand views on that one video and so showing a lot of something whether it be packages or products or whatever it is people just love that another thing that I did was that I placed myself in front of the camera so I kind of introduced myself made that connection with my audience like hey this is me this is my business and I think that really helped humanize my business another thing that I did was I utilized hash so I use really good hashtags and if you're interested in learning more about hashtags then I actually have an entire guide on that on my builder brand if you guys are interested in checking that out I'm gonna have it linked down below another thing that I was doing really well was I was doing these quotes and I don't know why people just love to repost these quotes but people do and so kind of mixing in some product a little bit of videos with me trying to connect with the audience I would also post these quotes and people would usually go ahead and repost them on their story someone else sees it you know they like the quote they go and repost it on their story and that brought some awareness to my business as well and the reason why I think my videos did so well was one the cover photos so this was before reels actually existed and so you only had IGTV and like regular videos so a lot of the times you actually saw the cover photo and so the cover photo was like you know me pouring something in or something very interesting that intrigued people to want to click so I had really good cover photos my videos and my cover photos were actually very super bright and very colorful and so that caught people's attention and also the video was very quick it kept kept you stimulated there was music playing there was different scenes you know it quickly just went bam 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 and before you know it the video is over and you watch the entire thing and on any type of social media platform if you are creating content that is making people want to stay on that platform they are going to boost it no matter what because that is their end goal so that's just a quick tip on creating content for my next video I'm gonna be talking about why blowing up is not always the best and kind of my struggles with it so make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notifications on don't forget to check out awesome i'm gonna have them linked down below and i'll see you guys in my next episode bye Fine. she in her own lane no she doesn't like them other types she likes yeah, yeah. this line's so smooth you could cut him with a butter knife so it's message on